Okay, hold on. I see. I see. We could go. If I trees in that, it's gonna kill Melusine. Just one thing to do. Brings it back. Sacrifices must uh -huh. be made on both sides. Cut my paws off, I'll fight you to death. There we go. That's what we want. Beautiful. Oh, what a win, what a win. What a win, man. What's up, legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. Also, another thing to mention, Team Creve, the team that I'm a part of, will be holding a tournament beginning from next week onwards. So for this tournament, there's prizes that you can win and players of all experience levels are encouraged and welcome to join. So I recommend you go ahead and give it a try. If you'd like to find out more about the tournament and how to take part in it, just check out the description of this video and I'll leave further information there for you. So the list we're running today is Enslave 6 and there have been some buffs to this kind of a style of play from what I can see with the patch notes which is why I've come around to this deck. In addition to that, I believe this is going to be a very engine heavy meta considering Soldier's got some very significant buffs and are looking like they're going to be in a strong position, right? So Enslave 6 can really counter engine decks hard. So I've kind of developed this list, bearing in mind that a lot of people will most likely gravitate to playing soldiers. And then you can go ahead and run this list. And I've pretty much tailored it to counter soldier decks from what I've seen in the patch notes and other engine based decks. So bear in mind, I'm recording this deck guide ahead of the update of the new season so as you can see we do have two provisions left over there currently um in this list but rest assured this list is going to be completely optimized by the time you transition over into the new season bear in mind that this card here stefan will be an 11 provision cost unit it's currently nine and these two remaining provisions will fit into there okay so it's a heavy control deck enslave leader ability enslave six as i said order season enemy unit with six or less power because i've jammed in maximum amount of tactics in this list so the way this works is this value is raised by one for every four tactic cards in your starting deck so basically every special card that we have is a tactic what i should mention about leader ability Getting round control is very important for us. We're not a deck that has a lot of tempo. In some cases, if you feel you're going to be at risk of getting too owed, perhaps use one leader charge round one because we do have Damien to re-enable another leader charge later on. So it's either going to be used then or of course over a long round three, which is how we want to play this deck out. We pretty much just want to set the field up over a long round three, do a lot of damage control and seizing. Anyway... Crystal Skull is a stratagem. Boost an allied unit by 4. Give it Veil. I really have Crystal Skull in here to give to Fire Scorpion when we're opening up in round 1. Gives this card 
protection helps it to stick on the board. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. Now to begin with, I've added one combat engineer in here. At this time you can't see the cards update, but let me just quickly change screen and read out to you what it's going to be doing. So with the combat engineer, as I flick through here, combat engineer ability change to deploy, give one charge to all allied machines in hand, deck and on the battlefield. Okay, so combat engineer now is kind of a carryover card potentially for us, which is pretty much how I'm looking to use it in this list. And it's going to be giving additional charges to Fire Scorpion in our deck and Hefty Helga, I think it's pronounced. So that's the role Combat Engineer um, does in this deck. And what I suggest is it's a bit of a low tempo play. So it could be really good just to play this card out round two on the dry pass perhaps. Or when you are going into a long round three, you've ensured round control round one. Just play it round two and then pass into a long round three. If the opponent's gone first and it's looking like you're not going to get round control, maybe you want to play combat engineer out anyway at that time too. So bear in mind the way I've got it in this list, more of a carryover card for us. We have two fire scorpions. Order allows you to damage a unit by one. Charge one. Gain one charge whenever you play a tactic card. So what we can do with the Fire Scorpions is play one out round one. Like I said, we can stratagem that, give it Crystal Skull. And perhaps it's better to save the other Fire Scorpion to be played with this other Siege Engine that we have over the course of a long round three. Because we will be playing a lot of tactics at that time. And we have a very strong synergy with Stefan's new ability and the Siege Engines in this deck. Fire Scorpion, I don't know if we'd really open up with it as an opener in round one. I guess you could, but really what we want to do first is play Calvay, play Blightmakers, and then perhaps after we've committed those combinations, Fire Scorpion, play Tactics, okay? That's the general idea. We have two Tony Joss, extra control, move an enemy unit shield, damage it by four, give an allied unit shield, boost it by four. Bear in mind with our Tactics, we would like to commit them after having our siege engines down on the board. Feel, feel free to commit the tactic cards as you like, depending on how much they make sense per round, okay? We are also running the Blightmaker Thinning Package. This is to give us tempo to win round control, okay? It's very important for us because, like I said, we, this deck doesn't really have tempo. It's more of a deck that needs time to set up and destroy the opponent's units and take them, etc. So round one play to help us ensure a long round three, we're going to be committing the Blightmaker package out. So what we want to do is ensure that we have both of those major assassins in deck at all times before we go ahead and deploy these. We want to do this round one. Make sure your opponent has units down on the board because as we commit the Blightmaker out, major assassin comes out to the board because the way Blightmaker works is we get to look in our deck select the card, move it to the top. That's going to be Mage Assassin. And according to Mage Assassin's ability, it comes out to the board and does two points of random damage. So to get that random damage value, commit Blight Makers after your opponent has units on the field. And just a nice way for us to ensure a long round three. Double coated weapons, more tactic cards. Pretty good control, damage an enemy, enemy unit by five. We can kind of clog with this card too. Death Blow, if it wasn't a token, banish it, spawn a base copy of it on top of opponent's deck. We've got Amnesty in here, quite good. We're Devotion, so Amnesty is pretty nice for us. Seize an enemy unit with 3 power or less. Conspiracy, boosted by 2. Devotion, always trigger Conspiracy. So whatever we're seizing with this, we're always boosting, which is really nice reason I added Amnesty in this deck is because I'm quite sure we're going to be facing a lot of soldier lists. And from what I saw, the soldier units are, are lower powered engines. So maybe you could see some pretty good engines with Amnesty. So 
use it round one or later as as you like we have so many tactics you can use these control options quite flexibly you're gonna see double assassination more control pretty solid damage a unit by six decrease the damage by one for each unit adjacent to it basically what this means is that you want to get a full value kill by playing assassination onto a unit that's alone on a row so that's what you want to do exactly with this probably you want to save a assassination later on over the course of a long round three pretty strong control i added remedy in here to give us more flexibility in what we can do with our deck so we get to play a bronze unit from our opponent's graveyard perhaps this can allow us to get a nice engine back onto the board onto our side of the field and preferably we'd play experimental remedy out over the course of a long round three when the opponent has already committed some cards round one obviously so it does make sense that's going to get played then more so than anything else but bear in mind if you get this card round three you could perhaps destroy your opponent's bronze units and then play remedy in the same round as well so a bit of flexibility of what we can do here so we've covered the blight maker thinning package what i'd also say about the blight maker package is that try to play them out before we go into the long round three because we don't want to get us into a situation where we accidentally click into a mage assassin and brick those cards up somehow so just play them out round one and two and then pass into the long round three surrender is in here once again because i've gone over the patch notes and according to the soldiers buffs they they have some armor synergies they will be row stacking so i think surrender could come in handy remove two armor from all units in a row damage them by two perhaps you play surrender late over the course of a long round three okay treason went for treason because it's a pretty sneaky card it gives you kind of a, an unusual way to answer units behind the opponent's defender so you could play this onto a defender and kill off sp some important units next to a defender which is pretty much why i added it in here also because this has synergy with ku because we're giving a unit spying status so you can use ku onto the unit you play this onto and replay it for yourself so treason acts as give spying to an enemy unit damage adjacent units by its power obviously bear that in mind we want to target a very tall unit and you know destroy the things off beside it that's how treason plays best these higher costed tactic cards we pretty much want to save for a long round three if we can hefty helga shielded unit you can't exactly remove it right away with just some damage order damage unit by two charge one gain one charge whenever you play a tactic so like i said with our siege engines in this list if you're considering playing into a round and you're going to start playing tactics out have these down on the board first hefty helga in particular we wish to reserve for a long round three behind defender because it is super strong when it sticks bribery bit of a random element to what you can get with it most of the time when i play bribery it plays good create and play a unit from your opponent's starting deck if we can save bribery for a long round three that's nice and perhaps we could synergize bribery with some other kind of mef methods we have we can create a card from the opponent's faction um pardon me from their starting deck kind of use leader to steal some cards q to create some cards maybe we can kind of synergize these these different abilities we have to make these cards play for greater value defender is in our list to protect damien and the siege engines that's pretty much it of course we're doing a lot of seizing so and replaying and creating so we can also place uh, engines behind defender we want to commit defender over a long round three so stefan with this card it's not going to be like this anymore it's going to be an 11 provision cost card and i'm just going to quickly switch screens to read out to you what it does now so at 11 provision cost now it's a deploy ability spawn and play ace up the sleeve for each three tactics in your starting deck ace up the sleeve is a special card a tactic itself damage an enemy unit by two so 
I think there's an extremely strong combo that we are able to pull off in this deck because of this new ability. Basically, the idea is that once we have Hefty Helga down, Fire Scorpions down, at some point, when, when you have some good targets to destroy and you need to clear something off the board, we're going to deploy Stefan. This is going to be over a long round three. And we're going to generate these new tactic cards, killing off whatever we want on the board. I think we're going to have eight points of damage generated maximally because of how many tactics we got here. So we get to do eight points of damage through Stefan. And then by doing so, Hefty Helga and Fire Scorpions are going to be gaining charges because that new card is a tactic. And then I think we're going to have so many pings of damage, we can kind of just like destroy the board off. That's that's the idea of the combination here to be had, okay? Calvate offers our deck consistency. We are in Slave 6. We are jam-packed with tactics. So we are probably going to find Calvate every time. Round 1, I think. We should be with how many tactics we got, unless we're extremely unlucky. So Calvate is a round 1 card. Play Calvate out as an opener, if you like, followed by the Blight, Blight Makers, then into Fire Scorpion, etc. Definitely want to play this out round one. So because we're playing Calvate, this means that we'll be getting all of our gold cards into the following round two and three. Calvate puts our high costed, highest costed cards on top, down towards the lower costed in that order. So you may wish round one to kind of mulligan away the golds and look for more of your bronzes because it's going to be harder to find them over a long round three Ku is a tactic echo card we get to play it twice we are looking to use Ku in combination with treason in combination with fire scorpions the other siege engine that we have we can use our siege engines damage cards down into death blow range for Ku to play them for us that's how we're looking to use Ku. You can use this round one. You can use this round three as well. If something has spying status, we also always get to trigger the death blow ability. Keep that in mind. Damien, order, melee bro locked. So stack defender melee row to give protection to Damien there. Reset your leader. So we get to play in slave six twice, which is fantastic. If defender gets answered, Play Damien late, like second last play of the match. So he has more of a chance of sticking on the board. Obviously, you want to kind of play Damien once you've already used leader. Okay, try to try to sequence it like that. And then we have Ardle in our list. Bit of a hold punish option, I guess you could say the way it works. It's a range draw play. If neither player has passed and your opponent's hand is not full, move a non-doomed enemy unit with power up to zero to your opponent's hand and we draw a card nice thing about this is drawing a card will potentially draw us into another tactic gives us greater synergy with our siege engines more control because we've got so many control tactic cards and bear in mind increase the maximum value by the number of tactics in your starting deck so we can target a unit with 12th power and up, I believe. So if you're versing like a syndicate deck and they're spending coins on a unit, let it grow and then maybe use Ardle. This is more of a round three card, I believe. It would be nice to save it then. Or maybe an engine that's growing in power um, has been giving, given some kind of a status, you know, something with vitality. Those are the kind of things you want to uh, utilize Ardle on. So now that we've covered the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. Okay, extremely heavy control list we have. Developed to target engine decks and with a bit of an emphasis on targeting soldiers. So what I suggest we do is round one, you open up with Calvate, you play both your Blight Makers out, establish Fire Scorpion down, give it Stratagem. You can surely then begin to play your Tactic cards out one charge of coup and push hard to get round control because we really want to ensure a long round through this list because we don't have much tempo really it's a deck that needs time to set up establish the board destroy seize things from the opponent so bearing that in mind push hard for round control round one pass round two uh if you could play into round two a bit 
and you've not hit below seven cards in round two, play Combat Engineer out for carryover into the subsequent round. Into a long round three, you're going to open up with Defender, followed by Hefty Helga, Fire Scorpions, at that time, whatever you haven't used. And from there, pretty much to start, look, look to use your tactic cards. Start to destroy opponent's units, seize them, use Leader, try to emphasize to take your opponent's engine units to help give us more points because we are a, a destroying deck but we're not really a point generating deck so that way we can have more balance as the match unfolds and like i said over a long round three you're going to commit Ardle, damien all these important high costed cards when there is a strong unit of the opponent that you must answer immediately and you're lacking reach play stefan down he'll be able to generate up to eight points of damage providing then charges to hefty helga fire scorpion you can destroy cards off on the field with stefan and then use your siege engines to deliver the rest of the dirty work okay hope you enjoy the following matches thank you for your time and support okay. it's an enslaved mirror match although i'm enslaved six they're enslaved five definitely good to keep in mind we shuffle away golds because we have calvate nice very good i shall not repeat Amir's mistakes light maker nice i feel dead quite literally we're both running blight makers no good wine will come from here not even come we have very similar decks i just wonder what they have in there they may have assimilate if it's in slave five they could have yennefer in there this is a fine vintage it would have made defeat them with hunger crush them with thirst we can go Fire Scorpion now. Stratagem. Magni Division. Oh, this is interesting. Really, they pulled into that. It's pretty nutty. We can definitely amnesty there. It would be a great amnesty. As good as death. Right. Okay. Great trigger. Beautiful. They have not played a Calvate like we have. The consistency isn't there like us. Because it's order ability versus order ability, should we play into the next round? But that's a bit awkward, maybe. Depends on the hand. Could play Combat Engineer. Well, in saying that, we want that answered right away, though, don't we? Uh, play a tactic from your hand. Draw a card. Sure. I like it. I like it very much. Thank you for your business. Appreciate you. 28 to 10, baby. Wow, Remedy coming in clutch, huh? So we got an extra thin, which is nice. Seven.
Um. To bleed, really? I don't know, it's kind of awkward to bleed with this kind of a deck. I wouldn't want to just do this, but it's the way the, the list is. I don't really want to just play things and risk going card down, wasting all our cards. We played Calvate, so we're insured everything. They're not as much. They're running a Nero in there. Man, that's good to get out. They're running Blights and a Nero. They do not have full con deck, uh, deck consistency into this last round. They might miss something. Maybe not now. More of a round one card, I feel. Or two on the dry pass. Click again, we pull Assassination. Coded weapons. But the hand looks pretty good. Um, surrender at this point. Maybe we don't want surrender in this matchup. Yeah. So. Maybe we see Defender from them as well. They might have a very similar style to us. Yes. Absolutely. Onward, onward, to be showered and... with imperial gold. Yeah, so th we could um Okay, coded weapons would have been good because it would have kept it out of uh C's range. Just thinking of the best way we open up into this. They play something back there. They're playing it ranged row. They can seize back. Not too shabby. Not shabby at all. Yeah. We can kill it off though with assassination now. That's the difference. Into Blightmaker, really. They played both out round one? Yeah, they did. Mage? Yeah, they have nothing. Uh, let's see. Let's just get out of there. Okay, now we're going to play Defender. And Damien. That's how we're going to do it. What? When this unit reaches 5 armor. All right. Whenever your opponent plays you, lose all armor and damage it. About the same amount. Oh, right. How much armor? When this unit reaches 5 armor. Alright. Take Hefty Helga. They may have Joust. We haven't seen Joust. There's Enslave 5. 
But this is in the full provision cost slot. No, five? Ooh. It could be just in there, yeah. Barricade melee. Barricade melee. Ooh, Stefan. The revolution is inevitable, merely a matter of time. Okay, hold up. So now... So we're just playing this, right? Whenever your opponent plays a unit on this side of the battlefield, lose all armor. Shield. Thank you. We're gonna try to replay Stefan there through Ku. It will play ridiculous. We'll play for crazy points. No? Sneaky, sneaky. Um, I don't really know what's coming back there. That's great, man. There's order and our feet. I trust you have sharpened. We gotta get back there. Best use this while we can. And we have Stefan now. S Stefan to help us with a quick answer. Don't really know what I'm going to see back there. We're hoping to cue Stefan. Uh, this is a crazy play for us. I'll do what I can. Absolutely looking to do that. Not that good for them. It's just a one point play. Really, they went for this. I think we just take advantage of Stefan now. This probably gets answered. So it's going to be like this. Actually, we should be using these. I can greed melee row. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna hit Stefan again. As good as dead, that was. This is cracked, man. <laughs> Wait. What are we doing with Ardle though? Ardle's a bit weird here. Ah, let's get treason. Oh, so... I mean, I'm just playing this for the point slam then, huh? It's a bit weird to play him now. Nah, no chance. We've got this easy. we got no chance, man. That is such a crack combo. Like, double playing, that's nuts. Combat Engineer gives extra charge there too. Oh, this combo is cracked, man. Yo, check this out. Tremble before the light of the great sun. We're gonna hit it last. Charge. Oh my god, man. Oh, really? I'll play it so you guys can see what it looks like. Not being toxic. It's just interesting because the new change to the card. Just see the interaction with the charges. So there you go. 12 charges. Double Stefan. 
<laughs> oh man. This combo is nuts. So let's have a look. Reversing Skellige, Reckless Flurry. Calvate. Put the golds away. Nice. No blight makers. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. So we're just gonna look to set up Fire Scorpion again. Play it out. A beautiful pair of legs for you. There's a lot of ways to get rid of that card there. Oh right. Slashing. Uh we can boost. You know, this thing ain't bad. It's not going to give it a shield because Veiled. Get rid of Bonded. Try to get around control. Really, opponent's going leader here. Right. Kind of at risk of going card down. I'll do that for carryover. Go sword. I think that's a good pass point. And we'll use light makers. Hopefully, if we can reach them. I don't know if we can reach them. Oh, Nova. Interesting. You're gonna have to commit a bit to this round now. Idle. Okay, right. Yeah. And uh, hef Hefty Helga? Probably need it. Maybe assassination, uh, or maybe one, one coded. Okay, and then we got blight makers in a short round situation. Yeah, it could work. Blight makers are pretty good points on tempo. Maybe they help us win a short round, and we just commit hard here now. Depends how they're playing this. Right. Gotcha. No, 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 damn it! So we don't know if this is, uh, like what kind of a situation, is this a bleed from the opponent? Having a think. Because if I just simply remove this, I can't play something for points that easy. To um, get out of the situation. Could also take the four. Definitely could. Best drown yourself with those damn nets. Could clog there. It could be worth leader. Because it's growing. If I play this, they may just pass now. But it makes sense because we've got Defender down. They might pass because they don't want us to have leader. No? Wow, really? That's such a good value sees on the fish flapper unit there. It's great. Why are they doing this? The 
not really effective play by opponent. This is this is the coup target all day. No problems there. We try to say Hel Helga later. My oh, mouse has stopped working. Why, man? <laughs> all right, we're back in action. Um. Probably play Helga there. We'll get the fender down. This is so good for Ku, man. We only got a four in there, do we? Calvated eight. Wow. Onward, sons of Nirgard. So maybe if Damien dies. It does make sense we play this now. The revolution is inevitable, really a matter of time. I like that. It feels good. Golden Necker, really? Okay, they're gonna give us a good Hjalma setup now, though. Damn it. Should never have taken this right. Uh, Ardul there. Probably the best Ardul we're gonna get. You have no chance. Do you not see that? Treason. I think we're okay to to greet or should offload. They'll be going up by six. Good. Not really that good now. Fish flapper at seven. We can kind of work into trees, and I'm seeing a line here. We coo the three, kill the bear. Do it like this. Now we hit treason. We'll take assassination while it's there. Target acquired. Magic compass. Okay. So is this still a shielded unit? I could I could do it still for the treason value here. Yep, okay. Well it's still worth it, look. Hey, get rid of coral. Easy. Clean man. So clean. And we have blight makers to fall back on in a short round. We mulligan surrender. Uh, we could look for more control. Oh, I don't know about... Um, I think maybe not Ku. And we shouldn't click again though. Right. Okay. It's fine.
Uh, judging by their deck, Bribery could pull us like Junod, Hyalma, maybe some kind of control options. Might just hit this first. Even though I'm losing damage points. So they will compass into a gold. Don't you cast your name? Crack and eat me gullet. Look at him. I bring death. Quite literally. Clean. We still got the enslaved leader here. It's, should be a done deal, man. There we go. There's our enslaved leader. We could even wait on it. Getting it back. Transform. It's the best value play here. Kept my tongue long enough. Alright. So this is actually really clean for us with the vitality man total domination this deck look at that can be for the memes surrender is a bit more awkward in short rounds Wow, they kind of came back, you know. But we got it. Nice. Definitely expected it. So we got Calvate, which is great. The hand's pretty good for the most part. Is that away? We can certainly open up with Calvate. That is fine. I forgive you this time. Uh, let's see what they want to do. War Council, right? Resilience will lead the scouts. into Tris Butterflies. Just Look at the first three cards I'll play one. Spawn and play battle preparation. This is uh Ren Free Soldiers list. Perhaps. I bring death. Quite literally. Okay. Next up for us would very well be the Fire Scorpion. Give a stratagem. Let's take it from there. We have to kind of answer these these melee roadlock units right away because of this new flanking synergy. Off to the front yet again. So what's it on now? That's a lot of tempo, man. Two, four, six, eight. We could go surrender. Back row. Play a bronze unit. I think we pass. Seem to have a lot of tempo. As well, these soldier decks. Wow. Different forms of consistency. Wow. So that's a thinning card for them. Alright. Okay. Well, we're insured all of our golds now. Not really looking... I don't think we're looking for combat engineer at this point. Okay. 
Hefty Helga. What could we play from there? Big Control Soldier. We could play Crossbowman. Trigger twice. So we're going to play a soldier though to trigger that as well. Let's see how they want to play into this. We've got leader to resist the bleed. What did they just do? Discard? Wow, that's really interesting play. So maybe we just remedy? Not sure why the the visual for the cards is appearing this way. Premium's not active. Discarding ointment. We could discard also. Yep, it's fine. Okay, so we go into the long rounds. Just looking for tactics now, really. Amnesty could be really good. Blight Maker, probably not. We have a few clicks, so I could work around Major Assassin. Yeah, that's right. Open up with Defender. You have sharpened. Amnesty would have been good here. Oh, and I'm um, we could definitely go assassination defender. Thing is, um. I kind of want to have this down before we start doing this. Okay, let me think here. Yeah. Crossbowman. We could definitely treason. That's one thing to do. We can even coup defender. Oh my goodness. At the end of your turn, damage the last unit. Almost killed it off. Oh, it's getting very low there. Um... We, are, we are having to seize that though. So if we're going to seize that... And do we kill that off? Keeps doing it. Okay. Damien's definitely gonna stick. Which is good. Garrison? Okay, so it kills it off. True. Damien sticks for sure. No Double defenders, great. Outsiders. Spawn order, boost an allied soldier and all its copies by one. Give them one armor. We conquered Gesso. This Nordling scum are no better. Oh my goodness. They're going really hard here. Oh, 
Okay, we've established Damien there. So do these cards continue to keep triggering? If this unit... Barricade at the end of your turn. Yeah, so it's going to keep doing that. So that kind of needs an answer right away, huh? Another defender? Sure. That's great. Triple defender. So it's actually worth removing them and seizing them. Absolutely it is. So for Q, we can use Stefan to help set Q up. And I shall treat you as such. Seal order, trigger the end of turn abilities. Resistance shall not be tolerated. Let's get that away. It's pretty devastating the ability of those cards. Very strong. We can take advantage of flanking through Amnesty and our leader if they give us something of the right power here. Yeah, that's our Amnesty target. None can match the power of so this will work for us now. Why not? Barricade flanking. No wow. Can we get to there? That's the right way to go about it. Surrender. When are we doing it? Now? Okay, it does work, yeah. So we can actually take that now with Sergeant. Take the Sergeant, I mean. Uh, with Leader, pardon me. Nothing will stop. Okay. Oh well. You shall know the Emperor's fury. Okay, let's see, let's see. At least all allied soldiers with armor. What's the highest value play we have here? We could play this out now. Revolution is inevitable, a matter of time. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that then because of flanking. Okay, it's really just going to come down to this now. Assassination Miliro. It's armored back there. Victory for 
Oh, wow, what a match.